hello everyone and very welcome to the channel as was promised in this video i am going to show you how you can install pixtrol from mistrol locally and then test it out with various images not only we will be installing this model locally but i will also be walking you through some of the really amazing features of this model from the french company mistrol I already have covered its architecture and lot of other details when it was released a um, couple of days back. So if you're interested, just search with Pixtrol and you will see that I did uh, this video around two days ago when it was just, I guess, half an hour old and it was leaked uh, by some of the community uh, member on Hugging Face. But we didn't do the installation because the files which were which were present on Hugging Face were not in the proper format. So as was promised on that day, I'm going to show you how you can get it installed locally and then we will also check out its performance. Before I do that, this is the Hugging Face page of this Pixtrol and why it is so cool is that because Mistral um, is a company which is already quite famous for its open source models and the quality of them and Pixtrol 12 billion parameter model is their first ever multimodal model this model is capable of understanding images and text it can handle variable image resolution supporting images with arbitrary sizes it can also process large documents with interleaved text and images plus the context window of this model is 128k it's an open source weights are available as you can see on your screen with apache 2 license and i'm going to Drop the link to this model card in video's description. According to few of the benchmarks which are available, the performance is best in multimodal and text benchmarks compared to other open source models like 5.3 Vision, Lava 7 billion, Unto VL 7 billion, or even Cloud Anthropics Cloud, Cloud 3 Haiku. But remember, the comparison which I have found so far is with 7 billion model, and this model is 12 billion. So, well, I'm not really that sold on these benchmarks, but we will test it out. The good part about this model is that it understands image captioning. Uh, it also does OCR, which is optical character recognition. It can extract the data. It can analyze complex images. Plus, you can use it as a visual assistant. So enough um, theoretical introduction. Let's try it out to see how it works. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mass Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video, otherwise it won't be possible because it's a big model and we would need to have a good GPU. So if you're also looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. So do check them out. This is the terminal I'm going to use, Ubuntu 22.04. And this is the GPU card NVIDIA, NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM courtesy mass compute. Let me clear the screen. First up, let me create a virtual environment with Conda. I'm just calling it Pix. Let's wait for it to get created. So the Conda environment is created. Next up, let's install some of the prerequisites, which include all the usual suspects like Torch, Transformers, and then below torch vision and lot of other stuff towards the end because i will be using vllm and miss um, to serve the model to install it and we would also be needing this mistral common library from pip so let's wait for it to get installed this is going to take three to four minutes so let's wait for it to get installed all the prerequisites are now installed and it's, as it's a gated model which means that you would need to log in um, to hugging face and then from there you would need to accept the terms on that page and in order to log into hugging face from here you would also need to put this token which you can get from huggingface.co it's a free token and login is successful as you can see so let me clear the screen next up let's launch a jupyter notebook so that we could install this mod um, model in the browser environment that will be easier to manage let's wait for it to launch my jupyter notebook shouldn't take too long so my jupyter notebook is launched next up let's import these libraries which we have installed plus also let's specify our pixtrol model and then let's download the model and you see that i am just enabling 
the chunked peripheral. Um, I'm just setting it to false. If you enable it, it allows you to chunk large prefills into smaller chunks and then bash them together with decode request. But I'm not going to, I, I'll just, and by default it is um, true. So I'm just going to set it false as per the model card. So let me run it. And the model has started downloading. And you can see that the model file is around just over 25 gig so let's wait for it to get loaded and there you go model has loaded at last and it has also given us some of the information around what it has done which is quite interesting anyway so let's try to do the inference now for the inference again i'm just giving it a prompt that describes this image then I'm giving it an image URL and this is the image. Let me show you. It's an image of dog, a black one. And then this is what we are going to ask it to tell us what exactly that is. This is the message which we need to uh, put it in the template prompt plus image URL. And then we are getting the output back from LLM and then printing it out. So let me run it. And there you go. It says that the image depicts a black dog lying down on a wooden surface, looking directly at the camera with a relaxed expression. Can you believe that? Looks, look at that. Yes, it's a wooden. It's quite relaxed. It's a black dog. And um, what do you think? Is it lying down or is it standing? I think it's lying down maybe. Okay, I'll we'll just trust the LLM here. Very nice. So you see that the quality is fairly good. And next up, let me show you how you can deal with the local images. Now, this code, you won't find it in their model card. And I have spent like hours and hours to get it right because this default chat template, this doesn't support the local images. So what I did here, I just wrote this small function uh, file to data URL. And then all it is doing, it is just in, uh, encoding the image. And then it is just creating a simple extension for VLLM with image and it could be png or jpeg whatever image you are using from there uh, i'm just calling it like this that's it that's all i'm doing so here you see i'm saying describe the image then i'm just giving it one of the image from my local system home one to images 4a.png i and then i'm calling that function and then same message template and then getting the response back first let me show you the image which i'm using so this is the image where we have just scenery, sunset or sunrise, three kangaroos, flock of bird on the top right. So I have already run it just to let me show you. This is the response of the model. It says the image portrays a serene desert scene. And maybe let me just, sorry, let me also put the image here so that you will see what it is saying. Okay, now look at it. The image portrays a serene desert scene at sunset dominating the left side of the image is a large tree that's right and then it is describing the tree in the heart of the image a large orange sun is seen dipping below the horizon oh my goodness how good is that right creating an array of warm colors across the sky the sun's position suggests that it is either dawn or dusk very nice and then right side of the image is dynamic and full of life a predator possibly a coyote oh no this is very i think uh, didn't do well it's a kangaroo i don't know why it is saying coyote uh, possibly but still i think it is also doubtful and then flock of bird and then it says overall the image captures a moment in time in the desert okay so let's see uh, if model is able to count those number of birds let's see can you count the number of birds in this image? Let's run it. Let's go down. It said there are 11 birds in the upper part of the image flanked together. Uh, I don't think so. There are 11, but let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There are 13. So it has failed this one. Now, so far not good okay the second one i mean let's see which animal is there in the image let's see if it is able to there is a kangaroo in the image okay now it has got it and got it right okay good stuff okay uh, let's try to do ocr now 
so this is the image which i'm going to do the ocr so you see there are some english characters there are some other languages uh, german spanish and stuff there are some special characters there's dollar sign numbers uh, alphanumeric and then there are some umlauts on top of some of the characters so let's see if it is able to do the ocr so i already have specified the image path and i'm asking it what is the text in this image let's see and there you go so speed is very good of the model i mean you can already see let me put the image here now let's compare so you see it says the quick brown fox so most of the stuff looks good to me in a very quick class and then dollar sign is there some of the email are there and then it is it has just extracted it very nice umlauts are there so all in all uh, i would say pretty good i don't think so it has missed anything I'm not reading every character, but yeah, overall really looks good for OCR as was well advertised on the model card. That's cool. Okay, let's do some more complex images here. Okay, in the next example, I am just giving it this image of one of the most beautiful buildings, which I think St. Stephen's Cathedral in Vienna, Austria. And I'm asking it which building is shown in this image and where is it located? So let me run it and see what model does. Oh wow, look at that. It says image shows St. Stephen's Cathedral loca located in Vienna, Austria. And it is renowned for its spacious chemical vault and the use of colorful roof tiles to decorate the building's detail. The architecture is intricate and the cathedral appears to be one of the city's landmarks. No doubt about that. Amazing stuff. Okay, so this one is some really, really good stuff. Let's try one more. Now in the next example, I am just giving it this image of um, sort of a, a lanes. Couple of them are closed and the most right is open. And I am asking the model, which lane should I drive on and why? So let's see what model says. It says, based on the signage in the image, you should drive in the lane that does not have the message lane closed. Specifically the rightmost lane. How good is that? And then it is also has read it very, very uh, correctly that autos bus and rv which indicates that it's open for all vehicles including car buses and rvs how good is that you should avoid the two left lanes since they are marked as lane closed very nice now in this next example i have given it the image of two animals and i'm asking it in this image are these two animals are same and look model says no these two animals are not the same they are different species the animal on the left is raccoon which can be identified by its gray black fur very good stuff the animal on the right is red panda very good so you see model is quite quite intelligent amazing stuff in this next example i have given it a traffic jam and i'm asking it what are traffic conditions on this road and model says based on the image of a busy street filled with cars yellow cabs buses and other vehicles the traffic conditions on this road appear to be extremely congested. Very nice. Very, very nice. Now let me give um, this complex image to model and I am asking it. Uh, let me click here that what is happening in this image. So you see it says the image represent presents and I'm trying to also put it here. Maybe you can see it. Okay. So I'll just move it here. It says the image presents a diagram titled meta rewarding alternative training scheme that's correct the diagram is divided into two sections actor data creation and preference optimization there you go and then i think it has missed judge data creation i guess on you know yep, i don't see judge data creation but most of it it has got it right good stuff yeah i think still good enough but as it mentions that it can deal with very complex images i think i'm a bit uh, sketchy there but i think most of it the quality is quite fine but i will let you be the judge because you are the best judge let me know what do you think about this mistral's pixtral model i will drop the link to this model card in video description play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching